what taxpayers end up paying uh, when it comes to the electrical bills. So when you can retrofit uh, these systems, that is exactly where you're putting money back into the pockets of, of uh, taxpayers. Uh, Jennifer Holman is here from the Department of Energy. The Department of Energy has also been a great partner. Thank you for following through on what we intended under the uh, stimulus and under the uh, Recovery Act to put people to work and partner with local communities to ensure that those monies go to the right place and we do leave a lasting legacy. Through all across St. Petersburg, many people, um, I, I don't want you to fall prey to some of the political rhetoric that is out there and really appreciate the extent of the Recovery Act in our community. We've expanded community health centers, including the Johnny Ruth Clark uh, Community Health Center, and put people to work doing that. Pinellas County Schools uh, received millions of dollars to keep teachers and teachers' aides on the job at a time when property taxes were falling off. Uh, US 19, $45 million to keep contractors on the job there and addressing some of the uh, horrendous traffic problems on US 19. At a time when ridership is increasing on our, on our buses and in transit systems, PSTA received $15 million investment at a time when uh, folk riders needed that investment. The St. Petersburg Clearwater Airport received <laughs> over $5 million investment to put people to work with improvements to our local airport. These are just a few of the Recovery Act projects that we can celebrate. But this one is one of the most meaningful today because you put people to work, you save taxpayers money, and you leave a lasting legacy of clean energy uh, for the city of St. Petersburg. So my hat is off to all of you. Congratulations and keep up the good work.